Water signs. Hey, this is a quickie. What's coming? What am I missing? Where's this going? So I've already done, and you guys are the last. So let's see, we're working with the animal tarot. It's just gonna be really quick. One card, one clarifier, quickie. What's going on? What's coming? What am I missing? Where is this going? What do I need to focus on? Song right now, Pain Makes Me a Believer. Correct for neutrality on all levels. We will start with Pisces. The sun. Woo! Right on! Hell, if you've been worried about something, stop because this is your plans are gonna work out great. Happiness, this is this is the ultimate card. One and nine. There's been the conclusion of something, something wrapped up, and this wall that you may have hit or or felt was in your way, you're on top of it. This is a bluebird of happiness. This is hope, positivity, growth. This is everything. This is this is you being accomplished and being recognized for, for the work that you've put in. This is you being chosen. Wow, this is forward movement. You may be traveling. The sun. This is amazing. Whatever you've been working towards, it's going to be positive. Successful. Are, you're trying to make a choice? <laughs> this is awesome because check it out. This is where it's going and this is what you're worrying about. So you're under stress because you're juggling. I'm juggling multiple personalities. <laughs> Maybe you are. You're juggling multiple people, right? Too much responsibility for you to manage you're getting all tangled up. Maybe you're tangled up in somebody else's cords. Maybe these are other people and you're, you're having to deal with this and it's stressful. And Spirit's saying your work and your personal life, they need to get balanced, right? This is making, this is trying to figure out which way to go. And this is, this is gonna be fantastic. So there's no stress. If you go after, if you make the choice that's for you, right? Or worrying that, you know, how's this going to work out? You know what? You don't have to do everything. Delegate responsibility, right? You don't have to do it all. Balance. Balance your issues. This is sacral chakra, seat of creativity, sexuality, passion. This is, I just heard dreaming. You're looking at that. You're looking at the dream. And if you're looking at the dream, you're going to be successful with it. Why are you nervous about that? You're nervous about that. This is tied up around you. Why? Your work is tied around you. You're tied up in your work, but you're looking at that. So that's the problem. So that's why your, your work life and your personal life are out of whack. You're all wrapped up in your work, but looking over here. So you got to bring balance back. And look, you're going to be fine with it. Everything's going to work out fantastic. You're going to be prosperous anyway. You're going to be recognized. You're going to get the recognition you deserve. You're going to be happy. The sun is, is all around happy, happy, happy. So why are you putting yourself under so much stress? Because clearly you are choosing to put yourself under that kind of stress, right? You may say, no, I'm not. This is my core, but you've got cords all wrapped around you. So this is about pursuing what you love. This is about going after what you want. And this is what you want. You're tangled up with that, but you want that. So you have to make the choice. So what are you missing? You're not moving on it. You need to act on it. That's what the sun is about. This is about celebration. This is about everything working out per perfectly. The sun is also about, um, like maybe you've been overwhelmed with work. This is vibrant health as well. This is also singing. The bird is singing. So it could be communication. You're looking at this. You want this turquoise. You know what turquoise represents to me? is my, That's my soul color. So what is your soul calling to? Embrace what your soul is longing for. Clearly, your soul is longing for that. But you're allowing yourself to be tangled up in this. Song right now, you never loved her, me, or anyone. I knew you were trouble when you came in. Hmm. You got tangled up in something. Maybe a passion. Some passionate... I don't know what this is. A work situation? I don't know. Something here is stopping you from going after this one that you want. And you look like you're nervous about it, but there's no reason for nervousness. All right. So who was that? Pisces. So cancer, what's going on for you? What's coming? What are you missing? Where's this going? Correct for neutrality and all of this. Cancer. Cancer. 
So again, procrastination. Trying to make a decision. Just sitting there. <laughs> They're all kind of like, no one knows what to do. No one's doing anything. You never see kittens sitting still. So you don't know which way to go. You don't know what to do. You're overanalyzing. You're stuck because you're overanalyzing. Seven says you're on the right path. It will exceed your expectations. So stop procrastinating. Make your decision. Start moving forward. That's what you're meant to do. You're on the right path. <laughs> Look at this guy's face. Right? Are you worried about what, what they all think? Are you worried about, are you waiting for someone to tell you what to do? Spirit's saying, go. You make the decision. What is your priority? What do you want? You don't know? We'll look into it. Maybe you need to ask people that are like you. Similar, similar. They don't look like they have much information. They look like they're pretty stun wondered. So you need to follow your heart. You're not even chasing the dot. You know the little, the commercial? Today's the day I go out and kill the red dot. This is the yellow dot. <laughs> this is going after the sunshine. You're like Liger. This is a main tune. You're just kind of sleeping your day away. And spirit says enough. Get moving. In what way? Whoa, because look what happens. An opportunity is going to arise. And it's going to need you to act quickly. And this is jumping out of your emotional waters. This is the sun shining on you. You can handle this. You're built for this, right? You can handle this wave. Trust in spirit's guidance. Trust in your own intuition. This could represent a young person in your life. This could represent an offer coming to you, right? This is an offer, but it could be a romantic offer, passionate. And this person is very, very confident in themselves. And you need to make a decision. So what is your heart telling you? Ooh, how fun is that? Whether it's a romantic thing or a proposition, as far as work, an opportunity, you got to move on it. So here's one of those situations where spirit tells us, I spoke about that earlier, don't procrastinate. You have something that you're going to have to do right away. And if you snooze, you're going to lose. Wow. Very cool. Scorpio, what's coming? Where's it going? What are you missing? I feel like I dropped something. Did you drop the ball? I feel like something went flying. Hmm, Scorpio. So what's going on right now is a lot of things. You either have a lot of opportunities in front of you, a lot of options available to you, or you've got a lot of responsibilities and you're multitasking them. And it's stressful. Or it can be stressful. But you've got, you've got other people that you can delegate to, right? You've got, um, this is creative pursuit because of the color of the sacral chakra. It's also solar plexus. Even if it feels overwhelming, you will be able to handle it. The way the bee is built, just, I spoke earlier, I don't know who else got this message, but hummingbird and the bee, same kind of body shape, larger body, little tiny wings shouldn't be able to fly, but they are able to fly. And not only are they able to fly, they're very, very busy. They can carry weight. They, they have carry, can like pollen, right? And they all work together as a team. So it might be that you've got a lot of opportunities, a lot of choices. Maybe you're very stressful, stressed out because of everything in front of you, but there are other people that you can delegate authority to right? Call upon spirit, call upon whoever's there in your team, your, your own team, and be grateful that hell, you know what? Yeah, you got a lot of stuff that you're multitasking, but this is a blessing. This is abundance. So be grateful that you're busy because sometimes it's either, you know, it rains or it pours. Here it's pouring. It's busy. This is good. Could have been a drought. Wow. Interesting. So if you get busy and get after the honey, you're successful. Your plans work out fantastic. It's going to bring you prosperity. Clearly, eight is the number of, of, of abundance. You're going to be recognized for the work that you put in. You will be recognized for your hard work, right? And you can feel proud of yourself for all the work that you're putting in. And other people will notice that as well. This is amazing. This is about um, don't be afraid to speak, speak out. Don't be afraid to uh, allow others to know what you can do and show it right? This is about, this is being proud of yourself. And this is others also recognizing your gifted and your ability. So while it might be stressful, you are able to do it and it's going to bring you beautiful benefits and you're going to feel really good about yourself. So focus on your abundance and be grateful for what you have because my God, this is amazing. How fun. 
That's it. That's it. I told you guys this is just a quickie. There you go.